Yeah, welcome back, traders. That's gonna go over uh, some of the profits of uh, using the flux power zone um, in my forex market preview using trading times. Okay, we're just gonna go over. Uh, haven't made a video in a little while, so let's just go. And I'm still trading using the power zone, crushing the forex market. I also have an education at Market Traders Institute, but this program is back to the future trading. All right, so let's get into it. I made a profit of 575 last month. Um, just on this account, I have uh, other uh, accounts uh, that I trade. Um, let's get into it. Um, Euro Australian. We took a loss on this particular pair. 1419 okay um, US dollar Canadian $116 took one loss on that pair uh, that's one of my favorite pairs using this system Aussie US dollar 103 took a few losses very minor on the Aussie US dollar okay um, Great British pound AUD lost nine dollars and nine cents um, Euro New Zealand, one hundred and thirty-two dollars and twenty-three cents. Uh, pound New Zealand, thirty-seven sixty-four. U.S. dollar JPY, nineteen twenty-nine. Great British pound USD, nineteen thirty-five. Aussie Canadian, nineteen sixty-nine. New Zealand. US dollar 127.89 and the Great British Pound JPY at 2266. All right, traders. So that's just one account. I trade multiple accounts, and uh, you know um, we've been crushing the forex market using the trading times from the power zone. All right. So I'll update you with the power zone. Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and there's plenty of videos on there. Uh, with me trading the power zone and also a couple of other strategies that I also trade uh, 2040 uh, and the volatility stop indicator alright so traders so here's the video and the forex market preview good luck for the week and uh, let's crush them again like we always do alright I'm out stay profitable Welcome back, traders. Uh, getting ready for another trading week. Uh, trading the flux power zone. All right. Also use my market traders education and forex trading. All right. So I'm um, trying to get this video out. Keep getting interrupted, and uh, now we're almost on into Monday. All right. So coming in on Monday, we had great trade opportunities. Uh, on these pair a lot of these pairs but we missed out um, because I could not get the video out in time all right so next opportunity probably by the time the video is done uh, compiling and everything um, it's probably gonna be it's gonna be in the morning by the time it gets out so we figure the next move on the pound news the only one is gonna be um, nine a.m. in the morning, look for a down move until 1300, and then look like we're going to go right back up. And then here's a sell opportunity at 5 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday, 5 a.m. in the morning, look for the exit the long trade, look for a pullback. Well, it looks like overall trade, if it pulls back, excuse me, it's going to just it go sideways up and down, but Looks like it's working its way down. Here's a nice sell opportunity at 2100 on Wednesday, on Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday. And we're going down to the south until we get here at 1600 on Wednesday. And it looks like we're going back up to the north. Sharp pullback at 3 a.m. in the morning, but it still looks like overall it's going up. All right, trade is going up. And then another buy opportunity coming here at 10 a.m. in the morning for an up move. On the pound of Zealand until we peak out here, 1300, and it looks like it's rolling over, going down. But um, a better opportunity for a sell is going to be Friday, 2 a.m. in the morning. Look for a down move on the pound of Zealand dollar. 
All right. Um, so that's that one. Next up is going to be, oh, that's behind my scanner. Next up is going to be, I don't know what, let's move this over here. Let's do the big G, the major trader. Uh, next up is going to be the great, no, this is going to be the Euro New Zealand. Uh, last four weeks, Euro New Zealand right here. Um, Sunday was going up. Like I said, it was going up. And it's going up now. It's going to peak out here at 12 a.m. in the morning. Look for uh, exit the long trade uh, that I had on in. Look to take the move down to the south here until, like I said, uh, 1400 on Monday. Look for an up move on the Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand looks like it's going to the north. Up until. We get a sell opportunity here at 11 a.m. on Tuesday. 2100 on Tuesday. And it's definitely going to drop 3 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday. Look for a down move, Euro New Zealand. Okay, traders. And then exit the long trade at 2100. Look for an up move. Look like sideways movement. Up move on the Euro New Zealand to the north. Until 9 a.m. in the morning on Thursday for a push down or a higher low. And it looks like we're going to the north, 1700, to go up. And then Friday, it just looks like it's going to go sideways. Also, it's going to be non farm payroll. So that's why we're probably getting the sideways chop until the news comes out. All right, that is the Euro New Zealand. Next up is going to be the Great British Pound. JPY. Uh, great British Pound JPY is right here. Great British Pound JPY. Right now, Sunday went up a little bit. It's really not doing anything. So right now, I'm looking to sell the Great British Pound JPY. Um, so we'll see what happens with this. We got a couple of sell opportunities. Then it's going to bottom out here, 1400, and it's going to go. Gonna try to go up. It's gonna pull back here at 3 a.m. on Tuesday till 7 a.m. It looks, but overall looks like it's trying to go up. But it's really since it's in an uptrend, so uh, I'm gonna be looking for the buy opportunities after this, you know, retracement to get down. All right, and then it looks like I'm just gonna take the buys. Here's another buy, 5 a.m. in the morning on Thursday. Um, and that's basically it. Because Friday is, uh, nothing's really happening that I could see significant up over or anything like that. Here's actually, uh, it's only for an hour. So yeah, Friday's going to be, I uh, don't see nothing significant there. Probably due to the news that's going to come out. Right, that is the Great British Pound JPY. Next up is going to be the Pound Australian Dollar. That pair, I don't see anything until like Wednesday. Okay, don't see anything. Unless the Aussie Dollar is getting weak or something like that, then it's like an inverse uh, pair, so you can trade it the opposite way. But uh, I only see something here, uh, 1600 on uh, Wednesday. Look for a swing trade up to the north. Watch out for the nasty pullback at 3 a.m. on Thursday. Pulls back till 5 o'clock. And then we're going back up to the north. And I think that's going to be pretty much it for the pound Australian dollar. Looks like it's going down. Here's the pullback. But I'm looking for sell opportunities. 2200 Thursday and 2 a.m. in the morning on Friday. Look for move to the south. Pound Australian dollar. Not too many trades on this one. Okay, next up is going to be the pound US dollar, which had some awesome opportunities. Like I said, um, and the market's open. It's going down already, so we're going to get a we're going to get a pullback, and we're going to get a nice sell opportunity. Three a.m. in the morning. It's already going down. Um, and it's going to chop around. We're going to go down, traders. You just look for um, sell opportunity. Here's another one. 
We are at 3 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday for a down move. Then once this down move here, we're going to bottom out here at 8 a.m. in the morning, go up for an hour, go back down, 11 a.m., and it's going to try to start going back up for a retracement. Then you got another sell opportunity. Always going to be... Yeah, it's just, it's definitely going down. Um, and then you got another buy opportunity here at 3 a.m. on Wednesday. Look for an up move until 7 a.m. in the morning, pull back. And then we're looking like after that, we're going to go back and forth sideways and then get another up move here at 5 a.m. on Thursday. It's really not doing much, but... Um, yeah, it's really not doing anything. And then 3 a.m. in the morning, because the durations are really short um, on this pound. This one's a little longer. 3 a.m. to like eight, it's like five hours. All right, so that is the, the Great British Pound U.S. dollar. The pairs last week were so much clearer. Um, next up is going to be the Euro Australian. <clears throat> this one was real clear last week. Um, Euro Australian, yeah, right here. Let me just show you what last week looked like. Last week was clear. Look at that. Clear. Up, down, up, down, up. Very simple. So, so easy. Um, all right, we're coming in here. I have actually a short on this pair at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna up a few pips, but the short's really gonna come in here at uh, 12 a.m. on Monday. 12 a.m. on Monday, going down to the south until about 8 a.m. in the morning. It's gonna pull back at 10, 11 o'clock, and then we're going right back down lower. 1400. Then we're gonna start going back up. Until we get to here at 2100 on Monday night, going down until 1 a.m. in the morning. We're going to get a whipsaw up and down, and we're just going to start going back up from there. And this time is 4 a.m. in the morning. We're going to move on the Euro Australian until we get to Wednesday, 2 a.m. in the morning. Look for a down move. Pull back 11 a.m. And then back down here. Look for an up move. Euro Australian at 1900 on Wednesday to the north. Then on Thursday at 10 a.m. in the morning, look for a down move on the Euro Australian. Then at 1700, look for an up move until Friday at 10 a.m. in the morning. And look for we'll look to exit the trade. I would just exit. Um, so different Euro Australian is probably one of the best pairs. It's looking pretty clean on the power zone here. 114 pip daily trading range. All right, that's the Euro Australian. Next up is going to be U.S. Dollar Canadian, aka the cash machine. Here's the U.S. Dollar Canadian which we are going up right now as we speak. Um, so, uh, where's the up move? Right here. Look for an up move on the dollar comedian at 9 a.m. in the morning. Look to look for a move to the north. Okay, I'm going to peak out here at 1600, and I'm going to go pretty much nowhere, sideways. And then look for a down move 8 a.m. on Tuesday and 1300. This pair is actually retracing right now. Overall, this thing's gone down big time. Okay? So we can get a better price on a short. But for right now, it's definitely going up. All right? So also, uh, 5 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday, the 4th. I would just wait for the long move here on this one because it's going to go down 5 a.m. until 11 a.m. Well, that is about six hours. We'll see how that goes, but the move is going to be the up move here, 11 a.m. to the north on the uh, U.S. dollar Canadian, and then look for a sell opportunity 3 a.m. in the morning on Thursday to the south. 
There's another opportunity here at 12 p.m. Uh, look for a uh, move to the south, but looks like it's just going to go sideways. Drop some more into uh, non-farm payrolls, and then look for a move to the north, 7 a.m. Um, on Friday. See, this is the only one that looks like an up move for Friday here, 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, the U.S. dollar Canadian. And after that, 12 p.m., look for a sell-off. And then flat go sideways after that. US dollar Canadian, aka the cash machine. Uh, looks like um for me it's probably gonna be the Euro Australian and the US dollar Canadian so far, what I can see. Uh, and the New Zealand US dollar. Um next up is going to be the US dollar JPY. I don't think there was too many trades on this one either. Um, US dollar JPY, we should be hitting that back of the um, trend line here. Let's see, this thing should be going down. See, there's the, uh, there's the New Zealand going down. I don't even get to that pair yet. The Euro New Zealand's going up. Uh, JPY, where are we? It was going up before. See, we're hitting the back side of this trend line. So, this thing should be going down. Um, dude, I mean, the power zone's got to go down for a pullback. Now, let's see if we're going to clear this uh, um, thing here. We'll see. Let's see if you want right here. Yeah, we're going, going down, but um, we got a couple more bars. It looks like it's going down. Let's see if it's in there. It's like waving. You can see the waves here. Wave, wave, wave until we get to here. On is that Monday or Tuesday? No, uh, it is yeah Tuesday, 12 a.m. in the morning. Look for an up move on the uh, U.S. dollar JPY to the north. Big time move to the north. And then 9 a.m. in the morning, sharp move down on on Wednesday. And then 11 o'clock, right back up. So it's going to be a violent move down, get out. This is a quick, you got to be really, you know, you got to be experienced really quick to get this move. And then just to close out and then reverse your position. But overall trend is up, so you want to go with the trend. Just wait for a pullback at a lower price and go to the north. But when we get here on Thursday, this thing's going down. Thursday, 3 a.m. in the morning, look for a short on the U.S. dollar JPY. Until we get to Friday, and uh, see what happens from there because it's it's you know it's so choppy here. Can't really tell what's going to happen. Um, yeah, it's definitely consolidation. I can see it until we get the news. All right, that is the U.S. dollar JPY. Okay, so next up is going to be. The Aussie Canadian, which is pulling back big time right now to the south. Let's see the Aussie Canadian all the way up here. There's the Aussie Canadian. Uh, this thing's going down, but I don't see, even though it's going down now because Aussie Dollar's weak, um, I'm saying the best move for me is probably going to be here, 2 a.m. in the morning on Tuesday. Look for a down move on the Aussie Canadian. And then once we get here at 2 a.m. in the morning, we'll put a retracement back up until Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, this is New York time to the south. I'm going down. And then after that, we on sideways. I see another person that move down. It's just sideways after that. Can't really see anything. Uh, the histogram is on the sell side of it, so... Um, look for, you know, the continue down to the south, trade with the trend, and the trend is down. Okay, and then on Friday, 5 a.m. in the morning, look for a retracement pullback. And then uh, that'll be it, traders, for the Aussie Canadian. All right, next up is going to be the New Zealand U.S. dollar, which is tanking big time. Oh, uh, yeah. And the power zone had that. Came in here and went up when the market opened on Sunday. Then it went 
down and went back up and then boom, we're down to the south. But the move's going to come to an end here at 12 a.m. in the morning. We've got a couple of hours still. It's still going to be still going down. It's going down pretty hard. Okay, and then we're going to get a move up at 12 a.m. until we get to 5 a.m. in the morning. And we are going, this thing's going down. You see, go down, 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 boom. 1800, slight pullback, another short opportunity on uh, Monday, 8 p.m. Look for a down move. Then it's going to pull back again at 2100. And then look for another down move, 1 a.m. in the morning, all the way down until 11 a.m. in the morning. Wow, brutal. Okay? Then from there, we're going back up. Okay, we're going to slowly go back up, down, back up. Still got some sell opportunities coming in here Wednesday. 1300 look for down move until 1700. I don't know how much it's going to move down, but uh, also 1700 right back up. Look, you can see this go down, up, and then we go down again. But overall, it looks like it's going up. But it's definitely got some moves in there. Now, depending which way the trend is going, you want to you know, trade accordingly. But it looks like we're going up all over, but it's got some nasty uh, down moves in it. All right, and then at, on Thursday, look for an up move 3 in the morning on Thursday. And then from there, and fr going into Friday, it's, you know, it's kind of like a mystery here. I mean, I got the history of telling me 2 a.m. and maybe going up here until 12, but I don't see them in the HPC lines. But I'll give you the times. Um, actually, it's uh, 2 a.m. in the morning in front of on Friday, and then uh, 12 a.m. 12 p.m. before down on Friday. We should be out of trade by then. So right now, the uh, New Zealand dollar is definitely going according to plan. Aussie dollar, New Zealand, Euro, New Zealand, and these uh, moves well, well in advance. All right, next up is going to be, and the last pair is going to be the Aussie US dollar. And the Aussie US dollar is right here, which is going down. With the down move here, but it should be reversing. No, it's still going to go down. It's going to go up like 3 a.m. in the morning, things going down. But my better opportunity for a sell is going to be here Tuesday, 1 a.m. in the morning, look for a down move on the Aussie US dollar. And it's going to pull back at 11 a.m. 1400 still going to go. This thing is, let's see, right here. The low point is going to be here on Wednesday, 5 a.m. And here at 3 a.m. on Thursday. Or Thursday right here. It's just overall, looks like it's not really going my soul. Right now, it's in a downtrend. So. Um, looks like uh, we're going to do some selling here, but it should be reversing to go to the north big time. So, but it's still sell opportunities in this pair. 2100 Wednesday going down, then we're back up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Look for a long trade. This could be the long trade here going up. Oh, that's Thursday. Wow, a while away. That's what it looks like to me. But there are some buy opportunities here on this pair. But um, for me, it looks like the clearest pairs are going to be the uh, the first is going to be the Euro Australian. Go back to that. It's going to be the Euro Australian. That's the clearest one that I see. The next up is going to be um, the U.S. dollar Canadian. It's pretty clear. New Zealand US dollar is very clear. And I think that is the US dollar JPY somewhat clear um, with the buy signal at 1 a.m. in the morning. This thing should be uh, pulling back a little bit here. But uh, yeah, my top three is going to be uh, it's going to be the Euro Australian number one. Uh, uh, U.S. dollar Canadian and the New Zealand U.S. dollar. 
Because all the other pairs, they don't look as clear to me with the HPC lines. Now, if I was just doing the histograms, you know, I could, you know, you know, go by the histogram. It's very, you know, simple. But when you're using the HPC lines, you'll get a better precise entry or when it's going to, you know, move at that certain time. This one's not bad either, the parameters, you know. So we shall see traders. So that's it. Um, we'll see how these trades work work out. Like I said, this U.S. dollar JPY. I think I'm going to take a short on it, very shortly. <laughs> no pun intended, but I think I'm going to take a short on this and uh, see what happens. And uh, this pair were actually in short. Hopefully, will hold. This is the Euro Australian. Oops, you're Australian. I think we're gonna it's pulling back, but I think we're gonna uh, it's gonna run out of time before it, you know gets up here, and I think we're gonna go down. All right. Um. Also, U.S. dollar's already pulling back, but it should be going back up. U.S. dollar Canadian was going up. Um. Uh, let's see. New Zealand dollar going down, but should be pulling back as well. Buy opportunities on that. Yeah, this thing's going down. I don't know why I have to cat up here, okay. So we shall see, traders. Alright, so. All right, so let's get this. Let's see what happens. So, all right, so I'll update you uh, with. Um, I just messed that up. All right, traders. So uh, that's it. And uh, let's have an awesome trading week. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have a lot of videos on there uh, from previous power zones and uh, 2040 strategies and so forth and so on. All right. I'm out. Stay profitable. And uh, let's get it.